Hey guys, it's Finn. In this video, I'm going to implement the species and the client. And basically, they sum up everything that we had. They um, will be used later on for reproduction and so on. And basically, that's like the, the, the only part that the user at the end is going to deal with. So let's go ahead. But before I do that, I need to fix a few things. So I had everything running, but it crashed like multiple times and I had no idea why. And I found some silly mistakes that I made in the previous videos. So the first one is in the um, in the need class where I um, create a new connection. And in there, I'm, I, I was missing this line that sets the innovation number. Basically, we, we gave him a connection and it copied this connection and he forgot to um, set the, I forgot to set the innovation number. So we had um, lots of connections with a innovation number of zero and where well, everything failed in the uh, distance method then and where, well, yeah, like everything fall apart. Um, also, I made a mistake in the distance method. So um, in there, in the genome class, in the distance method, uh, you should probably copy this. It's in the comment section. Uh, in the in the description it's this part so i had the problem where um i was checking like highest innovation gene is um like the last um, the last gene that exists in the in the um, genome but well it might happen that there are no genes in the genome uh, to begin with so if that's the case this would throw an index out of bounds exception so you need to check that and uh, and, um, and set it to zero initially and if the size is not equal to zero, we can set the highest innovation gene to the um, actually the last gene that exists. So now let's go ahead and we will start with two classes. So the first one is going to be the species uh, the species class, and the second one is going to be the client class. Okay, so let's start with the client, and I decided that I want to remove the um, Okay, so you probably had the uh, calculator thing in our genome class. I removed everything out of here, so there's no um, there's no calculator in here anymore. You should, so you should probably remove that. And we're going to put the calculator into our client because the client basically it has a genome and has a score and so on. So um, in here, let's go ahead and implement the some fields a private genome genome then we have the score private double score then we have the species that's assigned to so private species species so we'll just leave that um for now uh, and we need to import that and the last thing that i already told you is i don't want to have the calculator in our genome i want to have it in the client so we are also not going to have the calculate method in the um, in the genome, but in the client. So private calculator calculate. Um, then we want to wait. Well, yeah, um, we want to start with the generate calculator method that we had in the genome. So if you have it in genome, just move it in here, and um, it's called generate calculator. And what it does is it creates the calculator. So this dot calculator is a new calculator, and we give it the genome. So furthermore, we need to calculate something. So public double array um, like that calculate, and we take some array as an input double input. And we return this dot calculator dot calculate of the input. We could um, we could actually check if the calculator is null. So if this dot calculator is equal to null, then we simply create a new calculator first. Okay, good. So the next thing that we want to do is um, we need to implement some getters and setters. So uh, Okay, it seems like I forgot my key binds. Oh, like that. Okay, so uh, it's we need some we need some getters and setters for these. 
So basically a setter for everything. Actually, we don't need a setter for the calculator and we don't need a, well, we, we could have the getter for that. Um, but we don't need the, need this. Okay, next thing we want to do is um, we want to go into our species and implement this one. So um, basically a species is a group of clients that has very similar genes. So what we need in here is we need a random hash set, random hash set of clients. So client clients is equal to a new random hash set. Then we need a representative. So when we want to add a new client to this species, we're not going to check if well if it, if it's if the gene is similar to every client in the species, but to only one representative. Um, so private client representative. Rep okay. Next thing is well, the species also has a score, and the score is going to be the average of the client score. Um, so pri uh, public. Let's create the constructor first, public species, and we give him a representative. So, if, for example, when we create a new species, uh, we are most of the time going to have a new representative that's going to be the first member of the species. Um, so we're going to set this the representative to the representative. We are going to set um, the species to the representative. So we've got the field in the client. So set spaces to this, and we want to add him to the array uh, to to the random hash set. So clients that add the um, representative. Good. The next thing that we need is we need a method to put a um, new client into the species. This is going to return false if it cannot be put in there because the distance between the representative and the new client is too large. So public boolean put and we give him the client to put in so client client like that and we're going to call if client dot this client dot okay i forgot in the client method we want to also have the distance function in here and the mutate method so let's uh, let's implement this for a second so public double distance to a, another client so client other and we are going to call um other dot or return this dot distance um or this dot genome dot distance to the other dot get genome uh, maybe we want to have the mutate method in here as well so public void mutate and we are going to return genome dot mutate um maybe we don't re want to return that it's just get genome.mutate or just genome.mutate um next thing we might want to have the crossover so um yeah let's let's implement this as well so public static um no let's let's not implement that we got that already implemented in genome so this should be fine um let's go back into our species and in here we can call client.distance to the representative and what now we need a value that is um that basically tells us when a client should be put into a species and when not so if the distance to the representative is smaller than some value and we're going to call this cp and this value is going to be stored in the neat um class again so private double cp and let's set it to maybe four to begin with um so let's go back in here and call, we need a getter and setter for that. So let's go down here and um, create a getter and setter for CP. Good, now let's get back and in here, where the, we, need the, we need to get the need class and this is stored in the representative. So representative.get um, genome.get need get cp uh i want yeah okay this should work so if the distance is smaller then we can add him to the species and we can eventually return true otherwise we're going to return false now we need to do the adding so the first one it's basically well it's basically the same as we did with the representative so we can just copy this so we will uh, 
No, not like that. Um, like that. So um, we add the new client, and the new client um, has the species assigned. So it's not this client, but client. I set species and clients will add the client. Okay, good. Now the next thing is we um, assuming that a species is creating a new client what, because of offspring and so on. We will we want to tell them just for um, making it to to like have a good um, output at the end. Um, well, it's not this is not really important, but it it looks better to force something into the species because let's say um, they they created an offspring and we want to tell the offspring that it must be part of the species well we don't want to check if the distance is smaller than a some offset or something we just want to add it to this species because the species reproduced or produced this um, genome so let's implement this public we don't need a return value just call it forced put and give it a client now we can simply paste this one again in here and we don't need to do any checking good now the next thing that might happen is well um, if the species is too bad with their score and it doesn't create any offspring we want to kill it at some point when only the representative is left um, so what we're going to do is well maybe we want to kill it um, when there are like three three um, clients left or we can we can de um, define that later but let's make a method that um, let's the species go extinct. So what what going extinct means is that all the clients um, that like this is going to be empty and the clients has not a species assigned. So public void go extinct. And in here we are going to first iterate through all the clients. So for client C and clients dot get data. And then we call C dot set um, species to null. This part is very important, so we can later check which one um, has gone extinct and where there's no species assigned. Good. Um, now the next thing is we need to uh, evaluate the score of our species ba uh, based on the average score of the client. So public void evaluate score. And what we do for that is, is we're going to set W um, V equal to zero and then iterate through all the clients again. So for client C in clients dot get data and V is increased by um, clients dot uh, just by C dot get score like that. At the end we want to divide V by um, the amount of clients that we have. So um, score is set to V divided by clients dot size. Okay, so the next thing that we need in this method is, uh, in this class is we need a method to reset the species. Uh, what this does is it's um, basically it will reset, it will choose a new representative. It will um, remove all the clients while they're not going extinct or anything, but um, we will remove all of them and every client is going to be placed in a new species. Uh, most of them are going to be placed in this species again because, well, they are similar to to the representative. So let's um, reset this public void reset. And the first one is we are going to choose a new representative. So representative is equal to uh, clients dot random element. Next thing is we want to remove all the clients. So for speed, uh, for client C in clients dot get data obviously so get data c dot set species to null furthermore we want to um, we want to clear this array so random uh, clients dot clear what we what we just did is we removed the representative from this array array so we need to set it uh, again so uh, clients dot add um, the representative and the representative needs to have the species assigned. So set species to um, this. Uh, furthermore, we want to reset the score to zero. And well, that, that should be it for the reset method. The next method is we might want to kill, let's say 50% of all the clients. What killing means is again, uh, we tell 
we remove him from the clients array and set the uh, the species value to null. So public void kill. Now the first thing we need to do for this is we need to sort our clients by their score because we only want to kill the worst, let's say 50%. So clients dot, um, dot sort. Um, okay, well, we, we need to get the data. So get data dot sort. Uh, we need a new comparator for that. And the good thing is we can simply use the integer or double comparator. So return double dot compare to or compare o one dot get score to o two dot get score. What this does is it's going to well it's uh going to return one if o one dot get score is higher minus one if this one is higher and zero if they're equal and this allows the comparator um to sort this array. Good. Now the next thing is we need to kill the worst. 50%. By the way, this um, ensures that the one with the highest scores at the beginning and the one with the worst scores at the end. So we can iterate from the end to the beginning, or let's say to the 50% end, and uh, remove them. So for int i is equal to zero, i is smaller than the percentage. Oh, we need a percentage value, so double percentage. Um, percentage times this dot uh, cl this dot clients dot size i um, plus plus what we do then is we can simply call clients dot okay actually um, it seems like the this sorts them in a way that the worst one is at the beginning and the the one with the highest scores at the end so I messed that one up so what we can do is we iterate from the beginning to the to the end but we always remove the first element this will while well, the array list is um, programmed in a way that if you remove the first element every other element is going to shift one uh, one index to the front so if we always remove the first element at the end we're going to um, re we're going to have removed the first 50 elements or like the first percentage elements the clients dot get uh, zero to dot set species to null and then clients dot remove at index null. Now the next thing is we want to create some offspring. So public genome um, breed. And what we do for this is we're going to select two random clients and let them breed. Good. So um, what we do is the first client is client C1 is equal to um, clients dot random element same for client c2 now we need to check the score because the crossover method requires the first um, genome to have a higher score so if c1.get score is greater than c2.get score then we return uh, c1.get uh, it's i think it's just genome dot crossover c1.get genome and c2.get genome otherwise we're going to return genome dot crossover c2 dot get genome and c1 dot get genome good the next thing that we want to have is a um, is a method that maybe we should implement a way to, um, a quicker way to get the size or like the amount of clients in this class so public in size and this returns the uh, clients dot size then we might ha want to have a few getters and setters. So um, getters, we only want getters, I think. So getter for these few. And well, this is actually it for the species so far. I hope I didn't forget anything. And in the client, well, this should also be it. And in the next video, I'm going to implement the um, mutation and evolving stuff in our need class. So, um, I just hope to see you in the next video.